Welcome back to the film and TV channel on one of our regular features. I'm enjoying doing this. Uh, obviously, we're going to have a look at uh, this publication and have a look at what's on UK Freeview TV and what, what's worth a watch. What's new? Uh, I don't think there's any repeats this week that are, that are actually uh, from another time. Obviously, sometimes we do do that if it's something that I might have missed and I think uh, hopefully you might have missed as well, so I'll point in the right direction. But we're going to look at Saturday the 12th of March, to Friday the 18th of March. So we look at the main channels. We look at the main channels. I'll be there all day. I'll start looking at all the rest. Also. So please enjoy this look at UK Freeview TV. And what's worth pressing that old record button or, or even watching live? Hey, there's, there's, there's something new for you to do. It's very rare I watch anything live unless I'm doing other things and something's on in the background. So let's check this out today, please. If you are new to the channel, this is an information vlog where I do movie and TV reviews as well, TV drama reviews as well. So if you enjoy it and you like like what you hear, please push that uh, subscribe button, push your bell notification on these vlogs are coming out. And please, all your comments are welcome, but thumbs ups are, are even more. So I, I try and get at least 10 to 20 for these film and TV vlogs, but it's hard work, guys. So please, if you are watching, just press that, just press that thumbs up for me. You make a, an old man very, very happy. Right, let's kick off. Let's start at the very beginning. Yes, we're going to start at Saturday, the 12th of March. And we have uh, Queens of Mystery. Yeah, this is an interesting one. It's on uh, Channel 5. Yeah, so we've gone, we've ignored all the other channels. We've gone on to Channel 5 on Saturday, the 12th of March. And this episode one, it's a comedy crime drama when newly promoted Detective Sergeant Matilda Matty Stone is assigned to Wildermarsh, the village where she grew up. Her boss strictly warns her that the job will not require the help of her crime writing aunts. Beth, Kat and Jane. There we go. So we've got Olivia Vinal, Julie Graham, Siobhan Redmond and Sarah Woodward in that. So that looks interesting. Channel 5 might be worth a little watch. One of, one of those sort of comedy dramas that uh, might find a little niche, a little niche for people to enjoy. Right, we'll move on to Sunday, Sunday the 14th of March. If you like your BAFTAs, yes, it's the British Academy Film Awards on BBC One at 7 o'clock. Ah, I tend to get a little bit bored watching these things now, so I, I tend to give it a miss. But actress and comedian Rebel Wilson want you to join them as he presents the 75th stage of the cinema at the Royal Albert Hall in London as a red carpet is rolled out to celebrate the past year in cinema. So I should really be watching things like that, but as I say, I find them a little bit boring. I just don't mind reading up the next day who's won what. That that does for me. I'm not I'm not overly bothered about watching it live. Uh, staying with Sunday, of course, the 13th of March. BBC Two. I, get, uh, I don't mind this this guy Romesh Rang Rang and Rang <laughs> Romesh Rangathan. Uh, I think. <laughs> sorry, my apologies, Romesh. Uh, the misadventures of him. Uh, yeah, this is on BBC Two, nine o'clock. This is one of two. He explores Sierra Leone to find out whether people could generally plan their next holiday here, despite the West African nation's dark history of civil war. Child soldiers, blood diamonds and Ebola. I think I might give it a miss, mate. I think I might I might, I might nip over to a Greek island or something if I get the opportunity. But, uh, yeah, so if you want to watch that, that's 9 o'clock at uh, Romesh. Rang Rang Nathan, Rang, oh, I think, sorry guys. Uh, yeah, I do like him in bits, but some sometimes I don't. He's a, a bit of a hit and miss with me. But uh, if you like him, give that a watch. Channel Four the same night on Sunday. Uh, we've got Jeremy Kyle show. This is a bit more serious, of course. Death on Daytime. Yeah, I used to watch that back in the day, in the old days when it was quite new and fresh, and you know, it just becomes old and tired after a while. But this looks at 2019 when a guy called Steve Diamond took his own life after appearing on the long-running daytime program, the Jeremy Kyle show. In this film, guests, their loved ones, and members of the production team recall how the talk show was cancelled after Steve's tragic death. Both episodes are also available on all four. So that's episode one of four on Channel 4 on Sunday the 13th of March. Over to Monday, Monday the 14th of March, we got Tom Daly, hell of a home coming here. There's a lot of comic relief stuff on this week because Friday's comic relief day, which we'll talk about in a minute. So I've obviously there's lots of little things coming out. I've picked this one out because obviously it's an interesting thing. It's the Olympic gold medalist. This is 9 o'clock BBC One. The Olympic gold medalist diver takes on an epic Red Nose Day endurance challenge to raise funds for life-changing projects supported by Comic Relief. Tom's comfort zone becomes a vague memory in gusting winds and freezing waters. He rolls, cycles, swims and completes an ultra marathon on his way from Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in London to his hometown of Plymouth. 
So, yeah, give him your support in more ways than one. You know, we can all donate to Comet Relief as well. Of course, uh, sorry, Comet Relief. Uh, red to, uh, is it Red Nose Day? Sorry, not Comet Relief. We got mixed up. Yeah, so get your red nose on. On BBC Two, 10 o'clock. Yes, if you, this is Series 2, Couples Therapy. So, if you got enthralled and enjoy watching other couples talk about the problems, uh, it's back for a second series. So, it must have done okay, mustn't it? Not something I watched. Dr. Ora G Gurinik, uh, Fioris, uh, uh, welcomes a new band of couples with Mikkel Fioris at husband Michael. Mikkel and Michael it's an interesting couple. Husband Michael and Matthew's battle with alcoholism affecting him and his new partner Gianni. So there you go, couples therapy. That's uh, not, not exactly my sort of watch, but hey, I'm sure some of you out there like it. Staying with Monday the 14th of March, 9 o'clock. This is something new. Uh, it's called Holding, one of four. A dark comic crime drama. There's a little full of com comedy dramas this week. Dark comic crime drama adapted from Graham Norton's novel starring Conleth Hill, Siobhan McSweeney and Brenda Fricker. When human remains are found in a tiny Irish village, Sergeant Collins finally has a genuine crime to solve. As the gruesome fine ripples through the community, it threatens to expose a lifetime of secrets. Looking forward to that one. On to BBC Four. Yeah, a couple of things. A couple of things on BBC Four. 7.30 on Monday the 14th of March. You've got the Canal Boat Diaries. This is uh, one of four. This is Series 3. Wigan to Burnley. They are Wigan, Wigan to Burnley. I went all northern then, didn't I? Wigan to Burnley. Uh, Robbie Cumming begins his 170 mile journey across the north of England. Tonight, despite propeller issues and running aground, he makes it to the Burnley Embankment and continues tomorrow. <laughs> sounds, sounds fun, doesn't it? Uh, eight o'clock, Britain's Lost Masterpieces. Yes, uh, this is interesting. This is Series 5. So if you watch Series 1 to 4, my apologies, I haven't. This is Series 5. One of three, Bender Grosvenor and Emma Deberry investigate who painted two neglected pictures of religious subjects. So it sounds interesting. Some I've never watched, but that doesn't sound too bad, does it? I, I do like that where they find pages and then try and see the if they're originals and I can't remember what, what that's called now, but I did enjoy that with it, trying to prove that something is legit or it's a fake. Uh, I do so. That's a, That for me could be interesting. I might, I might record that and see if I get a chance to watch it. BBC Three, Monday the 14th of March. Uh, something new as well, this one. The Drop, uh, one of eight. This is Clara Ampho hosts a fashion reality show. There you go, so if you like a bit of fashion reality, searching for an entrepreneur who deserves a contract with a retailer. The whole series will be on iPlayer. I probably won't give that a review, guys, but if you're into your fashion, The Drop. Keep your eyes open for that. Nine o'clock, BBC Three, on Monday the 14th of March. Tuesday the 15th of March, 9 o'clock on ITV, we've got the killing of PC Harper, a widow's fight for justice. On the 15th of August 2019, 28-year-old police constable Andrew Harper was killed in West Berkshire after responding to a report of a burglary and subsequently being dragged behind a car. In this programme, Sir Trevor MacDonald re-examines the case, the search for the killers and the campaign to change the law by his widow. Lissy. So, yes, uh, obviously well worth a watch uh, and a, a worthy campaign, of course. On to Wednesday, the 16th of March, ITV, 9 o'clock. Series 2, I, I'm not sure I watched the first series. I might have missed this one. Kate and Cole, or K-O-J-L, I don't know how you pronounce that, Codjul. Kate and Cole, I'll call it. Uh, one of six, the return of the sitcom. As I said, I didn't see the first one. If you did, you liked it. It's back for more. Starring Brenda Bleffin, who I think is wonderful as Kate. The owner of a cafe who likes to share her views with regular customer. Cole, an asylum-seeking doctor and her nephew medium tonight. Kate is in to win, is in line to win a star prize. So I might try and give that a watch. It's only half an hour, so you know, not much time, is it? That's one of six. Kate and Cole, or Kate and Cudgel, I don't know. I'll soon find out what it is when we when I watch the show. If I knew if I'd watched the show, I might have known. Followed up 9 Thursday by Bradley and Barney Walsh breaking dad. So this is series three. So again, if you've watched series one and two, I haven't. One of six, Bradley Walsh and his son Barney embark on a new set of adventures en route to the Italian Amalfi Coast. But the first stop on their road trip is the Netherlands. Very hilly there, I believe. No. Uh, where they tackle the world's tallest freestanding climbing wall. Well, they have to build their own walls. There's nothing to climb up, is there, in the Netherlands? That's a problem. 
Channel 5, Wednesday the 16th of March. Uh, Council House Swap, I think this is brand new, I don't think it's been on before. One of three tenants in social housing across the UK look to exchange homes, beginning with a mother of four who wants to trade Mitcham for somewhere more rural. Well, we all want to go out in a country and smell the fresh air and the manure, don't we? That, that's for sure. On to Thursday the 17th of March, and Joanna Lumley's back. If you like a bit of Joanna Lumley, she's back on ITV at nine o'clock. And it's one of three, Joanna Lumley's great cities of the world. There's only one great city, it's called Manchester City. Uh, Joanna Lumley returns to explore the idiosyncratic, idios, idiosyncratic even, side of three European capitals, starting in Paris, where she visits the fire-ravaged Notre Dame Cathedral. Yes, well, I've been to Paris. I, I, I love Paris. I'm not so hot on the people, unfortunately. Uh, eight o'clock, Channel 4, Perfect House, Secret Location. A new, a new series, this one, one of four. As for some, lifestyle is becoming more important than location. Well, they're very lucky. Steve Jones shows families a range of properties without telling them where they are. When the locations are finally revealed, will the prospective buyers be tempted to make an offer? That's quite quite an interesting slant on it, isn't it? I mean, uh, you did sort of watch one or two of those just to, just to see, I mean, if they sort of take the blindfolds off or show them out. They obviously, have got the windows boarded up in these houses, haven't they? And then they sort of say, oh, yeah, you're in the middle of, uh, in the middle of um, no offence, you're in the middle of Bradford or something, and they think, think they're somewhere more exotic. Uh, my apologies, Bradford, but I think there are more exotic places places middle of manchester there's far, far more exotic places of course channel 5 thursday 17th of march nine o'clock yes uh, my, my my good lady worked for the emergency services when this happened and obviously there was a lot of uh, a lot of to do about it at the time and a lot of, a lot of problems and a lot of worries about what was going to happen at the time with the, uh, she was obviously on the side of where they deal with body bags and stuff like this so it's a bit scary fortunately it didn't turn out as scary as it as it could have been and of course it's the new strange ways riot 25 days of mayhem this is nine o'clock channel five the documentary examines the story of the uk's worst prison riot in april 1990 the uk's uh, inmates seized control of manchester strange ways prison the seize that would last for 25 days witnessed by the nation's press and media so the programme recounts the events minute by minute. Well, it can't do it. It went on for 25 days. Well, the programme would never end, would it? But I think I know what they're getting at. But yes, sir, there was there was orders for quite a number of body bags because they did, they did believe, obviously, there would be people killed in the riot and, you know, obviously prisoners on prisoner and stuff like that. But uh, fortunately, it didn't, it didn't come to pass. But uh, obviously, there was a, quite a lot of body bags ordered to be taken to the prison just in case, which is very sad, but... There you go, a bit of a, a bit of back, background knowledge for something that happened 32 years ago. And finally, Friday the 18th of March, of course, we've got Comet Relief at 7 o'clock. The annual charity extravaganza returns with Sir Helena Henry is joined by Paddy McGuinness, Alicia Dixon, David Tennant and Zoe Ball to share hosting duties for the fun-filled uh, fundraiser. Yeah, and how to donate? Call 03457 or visit cometrelief.com slash radio times. There you go. So do you want to... Put your, make your effort for that. That's how you can do it. And on to BBC Two, nine o'clock, Earth's Great Rivers. This is Series Two, so if you watch Series One, I'm sure you'll enjoy this. I did miss Series One. It's not something I wouldn't mind watching. I might go back and try and find it. The return of the documentary series about some of the world's most spectacular waterways, beginning with the Zambezi River in Africa. No, I've not been there. I won't, won't, mind, uh, won't mind a look one day, but uh, time's, time's running out. Uh, Channel 4, I'm a miserable bugger answer. Channel 4, 8 o'clock, Grayson's Art. Club, yes, Mr. Grayson, uh, Grayson Perry and his wife Philip have returned to Earth's viewers to create artworks of their own. The pair also welcome celebrity guests to their studio, and the first visitor of the series is comedian Bill Bailey. No doubt will take a piano or a little, little organ with him, won't he? That's what he tends to do. And finally, guys, to finish off. Friday the 18th of March, 9 o'clock, a little bit darker, uh, Inside Chernobyl with Ben Fogel. This is on Channel 5 at 9 o'clock. The presenter spends a week living alone inside the Chernobyl exclusion zone. Again, something I'd like to do. I know it sounds, sounds weird, but I just want to see a lot of the world and say time is flying at the moment and I don't really have the opportunity, so I'll have to sort that out at some stage. Uh, site of the devastating nuclear accident, of course, and goes deep inside the power plant. As long as I know I'm going to be safe and there's no, I'm not going to get... But then again, uh, I don't think anyone will be going to Chernobyl at the moment, guys. Will they not with the trouble as I'm recording this, in, certainly in the Ukraine? So uh, there's a couple of things this week. My little picks of the week, my little highlights of the week. I think the Queens of Mystery, it's going back to Saturday, 9.15 on Channel 5, a new comedy crime drama. 
And likewise, if we go to, uh, yeah, it's uh, Monday. Yes, Monday the 14th of March. Again, 9 o'clock ITV this time. We've got holding a dark comic crime drama. So, yeah, if you said one of my little highlights for this week, I think those two things, I'll be looking at those and hopefully tune back in for a little review of them once we've managed to see all the episodes, if they're available on the various, you know, ITV player or, or is it the other one, BBC iPlayer? Or sorry, on that channel all five or channel five, of course. Uh, if it's on there, and you can, I can binge watch a will. If you have to wait week by week, you'll have to wait for the review week by week, and uh, that'll be absolutely fantastic. Anyway, thanks for joining for this. Let me know if there's anything you're looking forward to, or you, you can't wait to see, or perhaps you've seen and you're going to watch again. But just let me know anything about anything about film and TV. Give us a shout. It'll be much appreciated. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to do the rest of the day. Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. To me here again on the Film and TV channel, I only ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.